Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw the development of a truncated prism. Of a truncated prism. So if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, please click on the subscribe button. So somewhere in this video, uh, you'll be seeing the picture of how it actually looks like uh, a truncated prism. But right now, let's just see how it looks like if you are to draw it on the, on the drawing sheets. So the first thing is I want to draw the base. So I'll be using a unit of um, 3 by 1 centimeter. So let me draw that. So in drawing that, it will now it will look like a rectangle. So make sure the rectangle is properly drawn. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is to extend this line straight up. So, but before that, let's call this point one, point two, three, and then four. So let me draw this line straight up. I also do the same thing here. So just make sure that they are parallel. Okay. So I haven't done that. So I want to draw a base that we are going to be using for the development drawing. So let's take the minimum height of the prism to be 2 cm. So just follow along. So here I'm going to measure in 2. And then the uh, highest maximum height, let me take that to be 3 cm. That will be 1, 2, 3. So what I'll do is to join these two points together. So let's join these two points together. So let's make this space also bold. Okay, so now what you are going to do is, from this point here, we are also going to draw straight line extend the line parallel to the one we have here already so we already have one line here you are going to draw that one from this point straight to the right so let's do that so make sure the line is parallel so i'm just using my ruler as a benchmark so just make it faint You are going to do the same thing from from this point here. Okay. So with that, let's just give it some extension. Let me just give it some gap here. So, so that means our development to be from this place. From this line I've just drawn. So this is where we are going to be drawing what the development, the development of the truncated prism. So now the first thing, let's draw one of the side. Or before we draw one of the side, let's first of all draw the total, uh, the total length. Now if you look at this base, this one, two, three, four, we measure from here to here to be three centimeter. That means here is also three centimeter. Why here is one centimeter? Now if you look for the total perimeter, that will be to give us eight, eight. So now let's mark off the point one, two, three, four. So
so from one to two is one centimeter then from point two to point three is another three centimeter so let's note that then from point three to point four is one centimeter so we're also going to note point four back to point one which is another three centimeter so that will give us um, give us a total this is 1 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 it's supposed to be here so that will give us a total of 8 so let's do the same thing at the top So the next thing is to just join the lines. Don't yet make it a thick line, just do it faint. Just make it faint. Okay. So this is one, two. Okay, sorry, the, the numbers are wrong. This is one, two, three, four, and then back to one. So now, what you are going to do is you are going to draw one side of it which is this so you can make it bold make all these lines too bold So just join the points I'm joining together. So now the lines under it now we can make this one to be a thick line. Now what we are going to have here, we are going to have the rectangle that we are having here, we are going to have it at the top. So here we are going to measure it one centimeter to the top. Also one centimeter to the top. Then we join them. So that is it. So from this point here to this point, that's this is where we have the what the development itself. That's development of a truncated. development of a truncated prism. So this is how you draw the development of a truncated prism. So if you find this video helpful, kindly click with a thumbs up, click on the like button. If you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, kindly click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon, please do that. Take your time now to subscribe to this channel. And then if you have any question or any comments, leave them in the comment section below. Share this video also and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.